Scott Hickel's 41st article for his blog, The Destiny of Believers and Unbelievers. It's important to understand that believers and unbelievers have a different process and a different destiny in the ages to come. However, all believers and unbelievers won't remain unbelievers forever. We'll eventually be with God because of Christ's death for sin, his attunement, and his resurrection. For Christ died for every sin, including the sin of unbelief. Remember also that God alone chooses who will believe and who will not believe. God parts faith to each that he chooses, for I am saying through the grace which is given to me to everyone who is among you, not to be overweening beyond what your disposition must be, but to be of a sane disposition as God parts to each the measure of faith. God chooses who will have the saving grace before we were ever born, who saves us and calls us with the holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given to us in Christ Jesus before times aeonian. 2 Timothy 1.9 Believer indeed Believers indeed have a special salvation in that they get in early and share in the glories of Christ. But unbelievers also have a salvation that includes a period of time outside the kingdom. Some will experience a second death like a fire, but in the end, Christ saves all because all death is abolished by his work. For this, for, for this are we telling and being approached that rely on the living God who is the Savior of all mankind, especially believers. 1 Timothy 4.10. Below is a brief study using various scriptures concerning the truths of believers and unbelievers written by Matt Fisher. Believers believe the evangel and gospel in this life and are saved for the eons and ages. The good news, God is at peace with us and offers us his grace. Ephesians 2.8. His son Jesus Christ died, was entombed, and rose from the dead. 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4. We are justified by God's grace. Romans 3, 24. We are reconciled to God. Colossians 1, 22. We receive the Spirit of God, and we are set free from the dominion of sin in our lives. Romans 8, 9-11, and 6, 1-23. We will experience the deliverance of our bodies when Christ Jesus returns, 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 58. We will share the glory and the labor of our Savior during the coming eons and ages, Ephesians 2, 1 through 10, and 3, 8 through 11. Our unbelievers, those who do not believe in this life, will be resurrected and judged at the time of the great white throne. Revelation 20, 11 through 15, God will deal with them justly according to to their deeds. Romans 2, 1 through 16. Then the unbelievers whose names are not in the book of life will have a second death. Revelation 20, 15. This is not the unbelievers' final end. For unbelievers will be made alive at the at the conclusion of the eons and ages when Christ Jesus abolishes the last enemy death. 1 Corinthians 15, 25 through 26. Then they too will be justified. Romans 5, 18 through 19. Reconciled to God. Colossians 1, 13 through 20. And be made immortal. 1 Corinthians 15, 22. Romans 18, 8, 18 through 23. And 2 Timothy 1, 9 through 11. Then all will be all. Then all will be subjected to God the Father, and God will be all in all. 1 Corinthians 15, 27-28. Love, grace, and peace. Have a wonderful day and wonderful night, and God bless you all.